Hello Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Welcome and welcome Cross Watchers. I hope you're all having an amazing day today. I'm going to be taking a look and seeing what's manifesting for you all, what's going on right now in your current situation with you, the person on your mind, if any, and what you need to know. So whenever you do see this, it will be at the right time. As always, take what resonates and leave out the rest. Practice using your own discernment. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And follow me on all social media, TikTok, Instagram. I am Spiritually Goldie on all platforms. If you are interested in a personal reading, I will leave all of that information in the description box below for you all. Okay. Okay, Cancer. Hmm, opening up. Opening up your heart chakra. There is a new beginning in love for you, but this is a lot of self-love. This is a new beginning of love with yourself, showing yourself love, um, knowing that it all starts with you. Um, but really realizing that and becoming aware of this, this eternal love that um, flows through all of us, knowing that you are loving awareness and you are showing yourself this, this love and compassion for yourself. So I really see you, I'm just seeing you hands up like, no, I'm creating these boundaries. This is my space. This is my bubble. And it, this is what I need for myself to show myself love. This is what um, I require. And if you cannot bring this to the table, then you're going to have to go to another table, basically. Um, I am seeing a lot of Sagittarius. So you may have Sagittarius somewhere in your chart strongly. I'm also seeing Aries, Libra, Virgo. You could also be connecting with any of those signs. But this new like love for yourself is about to shake a lot of people up. It's about to like really wake some people up and realize like, oh, I can I can't come to cancer just any way. It's almost like this foundation that they thought they could continue with you is all of a sudden breaking down. And it is because you are now seeing yourself um, in a different light. You're thinking differently about a situation. You're thinking differently, differently about yourself because you see the bigger picture here. You're starting to see things from, all, from a bigger lens. Um, and this is... I see you really like stepping it up leveling up in your life and feeling super supported as well. Six of Wands, this is uh, a huge achievement, success, public success, uh, people supporting you and, and being happy for you for this new sense of self-love and, and this new beginning that is opening up for you. Yeah, it's like I see you on the pedestal and I see you putting yourself on the pedestal instead of seeing putting someone else on a pedestal, you're putting yourself on this pedestal. Okay. So, I feel like some of you maybe felt like you were forced to leave a situation because somebody wasn't able to communicate with you. Um, the way that you needed or clearly or little to no communication, right? Page of Swords. There may have been some immature communication from someone. You may have seen somebody as um, moving in a different direction as well. And so I feel like you had to make a hard decision to withdraw, pull back your energy to find your happiness, to move towards your happiness here. I do see somebody's been keeping an eye on you, trying to keep tabs and see what you're up to. Because I do feel like you're also up to something. <laughs> oh, Page of Cups. Okay. Some of you are 
um, to some extent, maybe trying not to show your, your feelings or your emotions in a situation of, of how something it has really affected you. I'm hearing honesty with yourself. So I feel like you are also wanting to be honest with yourself. It's like, oh, maybe I, I thought I could do this, but now that I'm looking at it, I just... Um, I feel like uh, I want to do it a little differently now, which is okay to change your mind because I do see there is like a change of, of mind here. Some of you are feeling like there's a situation right now that is not completely clear or you don't have all the answers, right? It's like I just, somebody's wanting some sort of answer from you and you just don't have it at the moment. It's like I just can't give you, I just can't give you the answer right now. That's what I'm hearing. It's clarity, want needing more clarity. Yeah. I see you as um, looking for more clarity for yourself. I do see you accepting the way that a situation is playing out, though. Accepting how how something is playing out playing out or accepting um, something that maybe even feels like it was taken from you or lost but coming out of this this cycle of, of, of suffering with a, a, a learned lesson new perspective and also wisdom wisdom strong wisdom here king of swords yeah, I see you as taking a step back from a situation or from people to really think about or, or get the answer that you need um, and clarity that you need, but also to clear things up with someone else. We got a Queen of Wands around you. So there is somebody who I see you as viewing as uh, very, get maybe gets a lot of attention, is somebody who is very attractive and you're very attracted to, you respect, but there is, I'm hearing more, something more that you're needing. It's like you're needing more than a, a superficial situation. Needing more than the superficial. Okay. A decision. A decision. Some of you are deciding to remain friends with someone or to reconnect with someone here. Uh, practice gratitude. I see you also like counting your blessings in a situation or being put in a position to count your blessings. Practicing uh, gratitude, the things that you're grateful for. There's always at least one thing to be grateful for. And embracing the flow of life. So I see you em yeah, embracing the, the way that life kind of goes here. Uh, embracing the, the changes that happen in life. Because there's definitely a massive change happening with you and um, someone around you as well with that tower. Something unexpected here. But mainly I'm picking up um, this unexpected energy or people like you catching people off guard or unexpectedly because of this shift because you are growing because you are seeing things differently attend to the details so you're focusing on all details here everything that you can see or needing more details more clarity here which is is coming all right so let's take a look at this person around you the tower is how they're feeling right now so um, shook for one this person is definitely feeling uh, shaken up here uh, feeling like there may have been a breakup a separation that happened really unexpectedly maybe this is also someone who has lost some sort of opportunity unexpectedly and they're in a place where I see them as trying to step into their power here I'm hearing a shake to their confidence. Yeah, a shake to their confidence because I'm picking up you're really not a, a superficial 
person like you're wanting more you're wanting to know what's really inside or what's really what's really meaningful to you okay shaken up because they see you changing wheel of fortune they see that you've changed that you have changed maybe your mind changed the way of thinking they see a shift in your energy and they're they're caught really off guard by this. Um, they're going back and forth here about what to do with this situation now. Two of Pentacles. I see their intentions as them wanting to put in the effort to maintain a balance here to make something work. So uh, pri I'm hearing priorities. I do see this person, though, trying to pri prioritize more their work because I am seeing pentacles here. This person is somebody who is um, very independent or is wanting to prioritize their independence right now, but at the same time wanting to uh, have su uh, have a balanced relationship or, or put in the work and effort towards trying to have a balanced relationship with you while also focusing on work. So priorities here. But I, I feel like you have been seeing this person as putting other situations before you. And now you're like, you know what? I'm going to love on myself. I'm going to uh, make myself the priority now. And it's really caught this person off guard. Um, yeah, because you may feel like they having they there was a lack of commitment from this person but there's going to be a lot of time for self love now make time for self love and take inspired action yeah i see you taking action towards um what your heart is telling you to do what is your heart asking of you right now what is your heart needing of you right now where is your heart leading you at this moment? Slow and steady. Slow and steady here. Yeah, I see you moving slow and steady now. Moving forward slowly, taking some taking your time here. Being cautious, uh putting in the time and the energy and commitment towards a commitment down the line, but I definitely see you as um like slowing down your horse over here and it's really shocked this person because i'm picking up this energy of something moving really quickly and then all of a sudden um it's like slowed slowed down it's like okay maybe i should slow down maybe i should rethink this maybe i should um put myself first in, in this matter right now yeah hangman slowing down this is you um, gaining a different perspective looking at something from a different perspective in a situation instead of run, running with someone else's idea now you're running with my it's like you're running with your idea now Okay, seeing the number six, 16, one, two ones here. And the letters S, B, G, P, M, L, A, T. Those letters could be in your name or someone else's name. But with that said, this is what I'm seeing. If it did resonate, let me know. If you made it this far in the video, thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have an amazing and blessed rest of your day. Bye.